Hey everybody! Well, today we're going to take a look at a really cool robot. Look at this little guy. So I have been wanting to get a classic style robot for a while now. I've been kind of looking over the last year and I haven't really found anything. Uh, you know, they're hard to find. Nobody's really making robots like this anymore. Of course, they're kind of from anywhere between maybe the 50s, 60s, and 70s that you used to see these kind of robots. And, um, and most of the ones I've found now are just, I don't know, they're just not that great. So um, I have to mention once again, this gentleman that has been uh, made many appearances on this, on my channel. Uh, his name is John and he has the YouTube channel Robot Hut. And it is a cool channel because he is a robot guru extraordinaire and he loves robots just like I do. He's got an incredible collection. I've talked about him many times before on this channel. He's, uh, he's got full-size replicas of robots from TV and movies, and he's been on TV a couple of times on different shows that have highlighted his collection. So uh, on his channel, he was talking about this robot, uh, which this one is based on. It was, a, it was a Russian robot. I believe it was called the Pogot robot. And he took the basic design of this, but he just kind of tweaked it and modernized it and made it better. And um, I don't know, I just thought, I, I thought finally, you know, here's a, one of these classic style robots that just looks really good. Now, he has different versions on there. I'll put a link in the description so you can see how he makes these and how they're put together. And also this little thing right here is, was my favorite spot right here. So he makes, he shows four different versions of this little guy um, uh, with different functions in the chest because that's where you can really change things up. So he has a, a color wheel that will turn it and these little dots change color. There's another one that has this really neat moray pattern that just kind of spins. And I really like that one as well. And then he had one that had uh, like five gears that would spin up here. But this was my favorite one because it's got these little, I don't know what you call them, they're little actuators or something. They kind of go like this. And it reminded me of Robbie the robot. And he mentions that in his video too. Robbie had these cool little things in his head that would move like that. They would clack. They're like little saxophone valves. And then he also had these things in his chest area that kind of had, they would flip around. That's why I really like this. All right, well, let's turn him on so we can see how he works. Okay, so let me turn the switch on. And there he goes. I love the way he walks. Look at that chest kind of thing going on. Let me move him back here. He's got a really good speed that he walks. And I absolutely love these, these little things on the front. So here you can see how they move. I think that is so cool. I absolutely love these. And you can see that the arms move as well when he walks. I love the smooth gait that he has. And he also made it so that his eyes light up. So you can see that his eyes are lit. And I also love how quiet the motor is. You know, I, I think I had some kind of, well, I had a lot of robot toys when I was a kid. But one thing that they all had in common is that the motors were so noisy. You know, they were old, loud motors. Nowadays, they've got a lot of quieter motors. And uh, John shows you the motors that he used. In fact, he, in one of the videos, he shows, I think, three or four different motors and you can have the speed varying, so he can walk even faster. I think this speed here is absolutely perfect. And he's got the wheels that make it so that he can take these steps. You have to be careful when you pick him up. You don't want to pick him up by that kind of a thing. Oh, God, I love this. I love this little guy. Okay, let me show you some other details. John always makes these really cool battery doors. And he, of course, this is all 3D printed. He knows how to do all of this. He knows how to to make the files for this. He knows how to design the interior and the workings. So you got this little lever right here that comes open and he's powered by two AA batteries. And he's got the little uh, mechanism right here. It's just a little slider. So see that little thing right there is what holds it in. But I love it. So you just put it back like this. You got the little, uh, let's see, the little things on the end. And then you just slide it over and now that locks it in place. The wheels are the kind that have the little ratchet so there's a little thing inside that catches these little ridges so that when he takes a step forward it'll move forward okay but then if he tries to go back it locks the wheel that allows the other foot to move forward it's it's an old mechanism but it still works and it still is really cool 
And there's the legs. I love this silver uh, PLA or whatever the material is that he uses because it has this kind of bluish silver tint to it. I don't know if that's a result from the blue highlights that kind of were in there as well, but I love it. And then he, he made it so that a lot of these parts are separate. So you can change the colors of everything. You can change the colors of the eyes, of the color, you know, the rim around it. You can change the color of the mouth. You can change the color of the ears and this little top piece up here. Also the chest area you can change. And then also the feet. These feet are also, uh, you know, where you can change the color. And then everything's printed separate, like the legs, the arms. The other thing that's really cool about this robot the original version of this, you could not move the arms without breaking them. These, you can. You can adjust it like this. Maybe you want the arms to be more forward when he walks. And then when we turn them on again, we'll turn it back on. So now you can see <laughs> that his arms stick out a little bit. So I love that he made it so that you can adjust those. Hmm, I kind of like with his, his arms sticking out like that. But then it kind of hides a little bit of the chest detail, which I absolutely love that. Ah, oh, man. I love this robot so much. So, there we go. An updated version of the original Pogot robots made by John from the Robot Hut channel. So, uh, I will put a link in the description to his video that shows how he made this thing. He, he breaks them down and he shows you all the gear mechanisms and how the linkage works on there. It's amazing that one motor can operate so many different things. And you can check out all the different versions of the chest detail. I'm sure he has the 3D print files also. He's probably got a link to those so you can print these parts up yourself. And, uh, and he makes things, you know, nice and simple where, you know, anybody can pretty much build these things if you got a 3D printer, which I don't have, unfortunately. But, but I love this little guy. So, John, if you're watching, thank you so much for making this. I finally got a classic style robot that is so much better than anything that's kind of available today unfortunately there's just really not a lot out there so i absolutely love him all right well that's it for this video i hope you enjoyed it and if you did don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons i very much appreciate it and until the next time i'll see you on the next video so thank you so much for watching and have a good one